Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my final update for the Labor of Love It project pan, which started on the first day of summer and will be ending on Labor Day, which I believe is September 5th this year, I think. Um, it hasn't quite been a month since my last update. It's been about three weeks, uh, give or take a day. But the way this project works is I do a one month update and then I do a three week update and then the finale. It's a quick one and it flies by really fast. The creator of this project is Nicole from Tinkerbell Rocks. I will have her Instagram account linked down below. Bless you. Along with others who are doing this project pan. Um, what else did I wanna say? I wanted to say that the point of this project is to work on 10 products you love during the time frame there's no goals to finish anything it doesn't have to be finishing things not that that's ever like ultimately my goal is to finish everything let's let's be real but i'm never like determined to use something every single day until it's gone like i just kind of pick some things that i like and work on them for as long as it takes so i kind of feel like all of my projects follow that rule it's kind of like the rules i live by but this project in particular focuses on products you love. So there were 10 products and thankfully we are down to nine. The product I finished, it should be no surprise if you saw my last update, but that is this deluxe sample of the Goop Glow Microderm Instant Glow. This was almost gone at last month's update and I think I used it once, maybe twice more and then it was done for. Um, I mentioned this in my empties video, but this is a very, very good product. I like it very much, but I think it's overpriced. I mean, it's a scrub. It's some sand or something like sand in, it's just too much money. Um, I don't think anybody should spend that kind of money on a face scrub unless they are so ridiculously rich that they don't know what to do with their money. But you know, that's not me and I don't think that's most of you. So I wouldn't recommend this product for that reason, but it's actually a very good scrub. I am still working on the other nine products in this project. Let's talk about them really quickly. First of all, I have my perfume. I do try to put a perfume in this project every year. And this year I did my Miami Glow from JLo. And I've really been enjoying this a lot. I am down to about here. It was about here at the start of this project. So I've used quite a bit but I'm obviously not going to be able to finish this over the next three weeks, and I'm okay with that. I never thought I would. I have been enjoying it very much, and I like it, and this is the primary scent I reach for since this project started. It's nice. All right, next I have my two Too Faced products. This is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Primer, and this is the Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. I love both of them. I love them very much. Um, I'm not, I'm using the setting spray more, the most consistently. I use this almost every day. This one, I'm not using every single day, but I have reached for it a ton over this month, and I've just been loving every minute with these two products. I'm gonna be so sad when they are gone. So, so sad. I do have a couple backups of the primer. Don't have any backups of the setting spray. And I think they are magical products for people with oilier skin or people that live in super humid climates that make you oily, like the Midwest in the summer. I mean, I don't consider myself to be an oily person at this point in my life. Most of the year, I'm just normal, but in the summer, get kind of oily. I just had to powder my whole face down before I started to film this video. So they're really good products for people with oilier skin. But I haven't finished either of these products. And to be honest, I don't think I'll finish them before the finale. I'm just going to keep enjoying them as much as possible. Okay. The next product is my shimmering body lotion from Ulta in the scent peach and cream. I did want to finish this by the end of this project and it is not looking too good, but I have made a lot of progress over the past three weeks. I'm down to here now. And at the start of this project, it was full. Do I think I could finish this over the next three weeks? I think I could if I tried. Like if I just la slathered my whole body in this stuff, I could finish it, but 
that's not really how I operate. I mean, the way I like to use this is to put a little bit on my chest and my neck in the morning after I hop out of the shower. Not a lot. And it, and because of that, it's going, you know, slowly. But that being said, I'm working on this. The important thing is that this project has kind of kickstarted my usage of this and I'm on a roll with it. And I've kind of gotten a good habit of using a little bit every day when I get out of the shower. And I think that regardless of whether or not I finish this by the finale of the project, I'm gonna keep going with this until it's gone. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully I will finish this soon-ish. And yeah, I'm in a good place. I, I have a good routine going with this and I'm shocked, but I don't mind it too much. I, I mind it a little. I don't really like being covered in glitter. It's just not my thing, but I'm on a roll with this and whether or not I finish this by the finale, I think I'm gonna keep working on this until it's gone. Okay, next I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I definitely can tell I've made some progress. The fill line is now right about here. This was a brand new, never used concealer. Um, I put this in this project because I felt like it was too dark of a shade for me to use for the most part. And I thought it might even be used as a foundation rather than a concealer. I did try it as a foundation several times and it works, but it's a little bit light. What's wonderful though, is that I can use it as an under eye concealer right now and it's lovely. I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it as an under eye, I've been using it as an under eye concealer a lot, not consistently. I have, I have other under eye concealers that I'm also working on, so I'm splitting my time, but I'm really happy to be using this. And once my tan fades more, this will be a good foundation shade for me. But for now, I'm more using it as an under eye concealer than a foundation. So we'll see what happens with this. But I wasn't planning to finish this. I was just planning to put a dent in this and try it out as a foundation. My next product is this little depotted powder. I don't recall what brand this is or where this came from. I'm assuming I depotted it from a palette, but I don't even know if that's the case anymore. I've had it for a long time and uh, I don't recall. But I put this in this project to try and use as an under eye setting powder because right around the time this project was starting, the under eye setting powder I was using was running out and I was it was almost gone. And I needed a new under eye setting powder, so I put this in. I have discovered since the start of this project that I prefer this as an overall setting powder more than an under eye setting powder. It just doesn't brighten the way I would like an under eye setting powder to brighten. It's not bad, but the way to go for this product for me is as an all over setting powder more than an under eye setting powder. So I haven't been using this as much as I was hoping to, but um, yeah. I'm glad to have discovered that about this product and figured out, you know, how I want to use this. And I think I will be in a good position to put this in a project next year and really finish it off. But for now, I have other powders that I'm using in the context of an all over setting powder. And I'm not reaching for this one because of that. But I learned a lot about this product because of this project and I'm happy for that. Okay, the next product is a product that I've forgotten about. I'm just gonna say it. I forgot all about this product, and so I'm really glad that this update came up when it did, because it's kind of reminded me that this product existed. As many of you know, I bought an acrylic storage system that I put in the bathroom, so all of my project painting makeup is now in a completely different setup than it was a month ago. And I think, unfortunately, this guy has gotten lost in the mix in the new setup. And overall, the acrylic, organizational system is working great for me. I've been very, very happy with it. And the way I initially organized it has been working for me, but I think I need to put this in a different area so I can remind myself to use it because it's hiding and I forgot about it. The product I am talking about is this Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense from Drunk Elephant. It is an SPF, like BB cream. And um, yeah, I forgot all about it. I haven't really reached for it a whole lot. I have had a foundation routine that I've been very happy with 
using my MAC Tinted Serum that I've been trying to pan for years along with a powder foundation that I have in my Let's Get Loose. And those two products together have really been working for me. That's what I'm wearing today. But now that I remember I have this and I'm supposed to be working on it, I might switch over to this for the next three weeks and try to finish this off by the end of the project because that was my goal for this. And it might be too late. This is a little bit of a deeper shade too. That's another problem is it's a little bit too deep for me even now, but um, you know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and finish this off. But oops, I forgot all about it. Okay, product number nine is this lip gloss, Plexi Gloss from Makeup Forever. This is the Artist Plexi Gloss in number 304. I love this so much. I haven't worn it a ton. I've only worn it a few times, but I enjoy it every time I am wearing it today. It is a stunning summer shade. It's a beautiful like strawberry kind of corally shade. Unfortunately, I have a lot of beautiful strawberry corally shades in projects right now. And so I have plenty to choose from if this is the vibe I'm going for, but I am up to five uses total for this product in this project and I'm so happy. So hopefully I could crank out a few more uses with this before the finale in three weeks. Cause it's beautiful and fun. And my last product is my nail polish. Um, let me show you the full line. Let, let me show you the fill line before I tip it over or whatever, but that's where we're at. It's still pretty full. I don't think I used this even once since the last update. Um, I've been trying to focus on some project polishes and I have been without any nail polish for like the last week or so. I did a huge clean out of my basement over like four days with my brother and there was no point having nail polish on my nails that week. Um, and then since then, I've been back to work. And so I've been busy with that. So I would like to use this one more time before the finale. I would be very happy if I could get one more manicure or one more pedicure in with this. Probably not a pedicure. I just did my toes today and it's not with this color. But if I could do one more manicure between now and the finale, I would be really happy with that. So... That is it for this update, you guys. I will be back in three weeks on September 5th with the finale for this project. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out everybody I've linked down below in the description box, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.